680's Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, we uh, told you earlier about how four of the federal and provincial governments have teamed up to announce a big money injection into the Ontario auto sector. So how did the markets react? We didn't see a big reaction as far as Ford stock was concerned, Francis, but I think there are a few interesting takeaways from this story. First off, it's a big chunk of change. As you say, $1.2 billion is what Ford's injecting into the Ontario auto, auto sector. We had the uh, Premier and the Prime Minister on hand at uh, Ford's Windsor-Essex plant today. A big chunk of the money will be used to create a research centre in Ottawa, which will employ about 300 engineers, and they'll work on developing autonomous and connected vehicles. So that's what I think is interesting about this, is this is where Ontario's auto sector seems to be going. A little bit away from assembly and more towards this research for autonomous vehicles. Just the other month, General Motors announced it was hiring 750 engineers to open a research facility in Markham. So this might help insulate the Canadian auto sector against any future changes to NAFTA and uh, Research in Motion as well. They're right on board with this. That company, basically, that's all they do now is create um, software for autonomous vehicles. So that's the interesting takeaway for me. But Ford Stock, Francis, was unchanged today on this news. Well, Canada has often been the butt of jokes for using bagged milk, but now other countries are getting in on the action. So, you know, people come to Canada and they're shocked to see that we drink our milk out of plastic bags, Francis. It's so civilized. Isn't it, though? <laughs> and there, there are some benefits to it. Uh, bagged milk started back in 1967. DuPont debuted it in Canada. And there's less waste with this, uh, less shipping weight and that can reduce the cost of the of the milk. Uh, Canadians, of course, we can get uh, milk in cartons and jugs, but 83% of milk drinkers consume it out of those plastic bags. And yeah, other companies or other countries are getting in on it. The UK now selling bag milk, as is South Africa, Argentina, Hungary, and China. Uh, comes at a time, though, Francis, when we're drinking less traditional milk and more uh, untraditional plant-based milk, like almond and rice milk. Hmm. So yeah, other countries cluing into our bagged milk. So McDonald's is uh, going to make some uh, changes here. So instead of uh, going frozen, they're going fresh with its beef in the quarter pounder, which, by the way, is my favorite McDonald's burger. Because you don't want to drop the Big Mac sauce on your tie, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is the, uh, the uh, uh, anchor hot take for the uh, McDonald's order. Go for the quarter pounder. Yeah, so what they're doing in the States, Francis, is uh, they're going to make the quarter pounders out of fresh beef, not frozen. So that's a major shift for McDonald's. They've never done that before. And it comes at a time when the company's trying to up its culinary reputation to compete with some of these, you know, more gourmet burger joints. It's not going to be available in Canada. I talked to uh, McDonald's Canada today, and they told me they're going to see how this goes in the U.S. before perhaps bringing the fresh beef approach mm. up here north of the border. McDonald's stock has been doing better as of late, and it was higher today. Okay, so Rogers, our parent company, is providing some Toronto schools with high-speed Internet access. Yeah, they are. It's 20 schools in the Toronto District School Board that uh, Rogers will be offering a premium top-tier high-speed Internet. It's a new pilot program that's going to last three years. And it's uh, Rogers Ignite Gigabit that uh, these schools are, are going to get. Uh, the speeds will be about 55 times faster than what they had before. Uh, it's really key right now for schools to have this sort of high-speed Internet. The Ontario Ministry of Education found that uh, more than 70% of Ontario schools don't have the recommended minimum bandwidth. And I actually talked to some Rogers executives on this today, Francis, and they say, although they're, you know, happy to help out the schools, it also opens up a new potential market for them as far as their Internet service is concerned. Okay, so what is the going rate for kids' allowances these days? Well, I mean, what do you pay? What do you pay? Uh, right now, nothing, because they're <laughs> not doing anything. They're too little. But, uh, you know, I I'm just wondering, so what chores should they do the most? They'll come with their hand open. Don't worry, yeah. Francis. So we have the average uh, allowances right now for kids 4 to 14. Wait, they're 4? Making it, as young as 4? Yeah, this is what you have to look forward to, okay? It's $5.24 a week on average. You hit 14, you get a raise, $8.32. So what chores pay the most? Mm -hmm. Outside work, gardening, $10.66, because daddy doesn't want to do gardening. That's a lot of work, <laughs> put the kids to work. Uh, raking the leaves, $5.47. Good grades, they'll pay more than seven bucks for that. Walking right. the dog, $3.89. Taking out the garbage, a buck eighty-four. By the way, the going rate uh, for a, a visit from the Tooth Fairy, Francis, is $5.66. Mm -hmm. And kids look forward to birthdays because they pull in an average of 40 bucks, cold hard cash. On their birthday these and days. And cleaning the bedroom, 386. It's worth every penny. Yeah, that should just be regular. That should just, you know, yeah, but <laughs> whatever. What can we do? Okay, thank you, Richard. Thanks, Francis.